back here at Newbury for race 28, day two of the national hunt season here, week one. It's a two mile five furlong maiden hurdle for five year old horses and up. We've got Billy Vodden Tapper for T Rogers, brilliant melody Alex Cherry, Clifton Hassel, Ryan Costello, Heron Island for Terry Hansen, and Blossom Tree for Jim Murray completes the lineup. That's the seven to two favourite with Gavin Sheehan in the saddle. So a smaller field than some of the commentaries I've done so far. It'll be interesting to see how these horses get on, what kind of pace we see, whether it turns into a tactical affair. And it is Blossom Tree, the favourite, that's set in the early lead. Seen some good runners so far for Jim Murray in week one. And he's got another favourite here. Let's see whether that can add to his collection of prizes already so early in the season. But it's Brilliant Melody and Heron Island too that have moved past that early leader Blossom Tree as they come towards the first flight. All over it safely. Clifton Hassel almost ran into the back of Heron Island when jumping over that one. The jockey's just restraining it and maybe moving it out a little bit slightly as well just to give it a bit of daylight in front. Doesn't want to run into any early casualties. Brilliant Melody jumping the next one. All jumped really well. Billy Vodden Tapper caught my eye there with a really good jump on the outside of Clifton Hassel who's in the white and green hoops. We've got Heron Island furthest away from the camera angle here in the all blue and again all of them jumped that one really nicely a brilliant melodies moved out into a few length lead early doors uh, and that few length gap is to blossom tree for jim murray as they jump the next another really good jump for brilliant melody in the lead that all black horse allowed it to just take out another couple of lengths and is building quite a lead early on in this race as they continue going past the screens there with a full 15 furlongs left to go and another seven flights of hurdles to jump. So it's still early days, but brilliant melody setting a decent gallop, a decent pace up front with a good four length advantage to Blossom Tree as they start turning left-handed and going slightly uphill here at Newbury. Behind Blossom Tree, we have Clifton Hassel and Billy Vodden Tapper just going side by side and they're now on this undulating track start going downhill and Heron Island just niggled as they went downhill there, hopefully trying to just move forward and join up alongside Clifton Hassel and Billy Vodden Tapper but it's not quite happening for Heron Island at the moment and it's struggling a little bit out the back there and in second place you can see Blossom Tree just being nudged along for a few sli for a few strides there as has Clifton Hassel and it seems as though Brilliant Melody is applying some early pressure that is having the desired effect on those horses in behind as we saw another great jump from Brilliant Melody up front and perhaps not as fluent if you were being critical of Blossom Tree and Clifton Hassel in behind Behind, it certainly didn't allow them to close that gap but there's still ten, ten and a half furlongs left to go and I'm sure there'll be lots of chopping and changing as this race unfolds in the final stages we've got brilliant melody still cruising along up front the horse is enjoying itself it seems today as they go over the next flight and it's another really slick jump from brilliant melody up front looks a really good hurdler good few lengths back to blossom tree still Clifton Hassel and Billy Vodden Tapper have been side by side pretty much for this whole race as they go into that next flight and a really good jump there from Clifton Hassel and Billy Vodden Tapper just pushed along to stay in touch with that one and put in a good jump but also wanted to kick on after the flight of hurdles just to go up alongside Clifton Hassel and you can see there's a good few lengths back already to the back marker Heron Island I'm not sure that one's going to be featuring towards the end of the race it seems to um, be struggling it hasn't traveled particularly well at all in this race as we go into the final seven furlongs it's still brilliant melody in the lead but you can see that that lead is no longer the four or five lengths that it has been for large parts of this race and it is now an ever shrinking two length lead just from blossom tree and you can see brilliant melody just being pushed along there it really wants to try and apply the pressure and see if it can shrug off what appears to be a challenge from blossom tree traveling the better just biding his time in behind this long-time leader, Brilliant Melody, Clifton Hassel and Billy Vodden Tapper aren't panicking yet. They've not pressed the go button just yet, but they might have to soon as Brilliant Melody starts to kick on again as they come to that next flight of hurdles and Blossom Tree being ridden along now. I think the jockey Gavin Sheehan wants to go up and try and challenge this leader now, but Brilliant Melody, if anything, is widening the gap and Blossom Tree doesn't look like it's picking up to go alongside it and the more likely challenger might be Clifton Hassel, especially after putting in a great jump at that flight of hurdles. So Brilliant Melody still in the lead, but now 
is going to need to fight off a new challenge and a real live challenge from Clifton Hassel, who going in the final two furlongs has finally picked off this long time leader, Brilliant Melody. Blossom Trees got going after being initially outpaced there. Billy Vod and Tapper on the wide outside as they approach that next flight. Blossom Tree wasn't particularly great, but still found a way to kick on from Billy Vod and Tapper, who's moved into second. Clifton Hassel and Brilliant Melody look like they've ran their race. Final half a furlong. Blossom Tree trying to hold off Billy Vod and Tapper. Might need the line as that one's really challenging on the outside head bobber I think Blossom Trees got it I think Blossom Trees held on but Billy Vod and Tapper really coming with a strong run on the wide outside let's see as we go to the judge yeah Blossom Tree Blossom Tree late money down on that one as well went off 13 to 8 favourite has held on by a neck can only be a neck or a short head from Billy Vod and Tapper who ran a really great race and laid down a challenge on the outside. But it is another win for Jim Murray. It was all out at the end and won by a short head from Billy Vodentapper for T. Rogers. Clifton Hassel ran a really good race for Ryan Costello, but just couldn't go with them. It's a young horse, though, so I'm sure it's got a bright future ahead of it. Fourth place, brilliant melody for Alex Cherry. And it was a distance back to Heron Island, who never featured... Perhaps something to miss with that horse, but a really good race here. Small field, but a very exciting finish. Congratulations to Jim Murray, who wins the Jim Harrison Hurdle.